Okay, y'all, so we're gonna get started on some skincare. Um, we're gonna use some serum from Rene Rolau. I will link every single product that I use um, in this video down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to hydrate. Very important. I've been forgetting to hydrate lately, so need that reminder. We're gonna use some moisturizer. My neck, like right here, is really dry, so we're gonna put a little extra moisturizer over there. All right, um, and then I'm gonna use some eye oil, just a little bit underneath my eyes and then lip mask for that extra moisture okay and then we're gonna get started on the hair immediately my hair is already wet by the way y'all are in my bedroom right now i don't know if you guys noticed like anything was different but yeah y'all are in my room Welcome. Um, what I had in mind for my hair was just slick back braid, ponytail. Um, my sister actually roasted me, flamed me, destroyed me. I'm using some grease, by the way. Um, like a year ago, I really liked this hairstyle. <laughs> and uh, she was just messing around with me. And she called this my biker braid. So every time I do this hairstyle, I still love the hairstyle, but every time I do it, I think of what she has said. I always think like, got a little biker braid going on. So we're gonna do the biker braid tonight. Um, yeah, I'm just using some grease to like really give me that like wet, slick back look. And I have hair all over my hands. It's like sticking to the grease. Um, you don't want to use like too, too much. I'm going in with like a, like a really small amount at a time just because you definitely don't want too much. All right, we're gonna just keep brushing. I want this very slick. I also don't have a mirror. Right now, I probably should have gone into my bathroom to film this, but I like the lighting in here, so um, we're gonna stay in here. But maybe I can like use a little makeup mirror because I like can barely see myself in the viewfinder. Y'all are pretty far away. Okay, so I have a mirror down here. <coughs> I'm like, I feel very rushed right now. I don't know, like I'm scared that my camera's gonna die. Oh, I'm using a little soft brush, by the way. Um, anyways, I'm scared my camera's gonna die like halfway through the video. And then like, the sunlight is gonna run out. Or the sun's gonna go down. The, does that make any sense? The sunlight's gonna run out. Um. But yeah, anyways, back to the hair. We are using this like soft brush type thing just to go through and slick everything down, like everything. Um, this is gonna take the longest time out of all the steps that I do tonight while getting ready is the hair. I always like to get the hair over and done with right away because then I can like do my makeup and not have to worry about my hair being in the way and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna speed this through real quick because it's gonna take a while. Okay, that did not take as long as I thought that it would. 
I think everything is smooth. Again, it's kind of hard to tell because I have this like really small here, but everything looks pretty good right now. I'm gonna go in again. Ugh, there's hair all over me. Um, er, I'm gonna go in with the soft brush again and just go over everything one more time just to make sure. And then I'm gonna, I'm so out of breath and my arms hurt. But I'm gonna take this regular brush and brush out the ponytail part. Just to make sure everything is smooth. And then I'm gonna go straight in with the braid. I'm gonna speed this part up too. Okay, I'm gonna take a little small hairband and tie it off at the end. The braid is not perfect. My braid will not be perfect um, ever, basically, because I have layers. Okay, so the hair is pretty much done. I'm gonna do my baby hairs and stuff like that a little later on when we're doing all of the finishing touches. But um, yeah, let's get right on into the makeup. Also, I asked y'all over on my TikTok page, which by the way, if you don't follow me on there already, you definitely should, it's down in the description box. Um, but I asked you guys over on my TikTok page to ask me some questions while I get ready, um, just so I had more to talk about, um, especially since this isn't really a makeup tutorial. Um, but if y'all want to make a tutorial, I can give you guys that. Um, I don't know why I pulled my foundation out. That's not my first step. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to answer y'all's questions that you asked me over on TikTok. Let's get started. So someone asked how I became a paid influencer. This is a little bit of a complicated answer that I'm about to give. I guess I can just like get right into it with like a little little story time vibe. Uh, so I started doing social media when I became a model, which was about three years ago, over three years ago actually. The reason why I got into social media when I got to modeling was because it's kind of a known thing around the modeling industry that if you have a following on social media, you will get more opportunities. So I started getting into that and posting a lot over on my Instagram. Yeah, just building a following on there. I don't feel like I'm giving a good enough answer. Um, and then I started taking it more seriously probably this past year um, when I got on TikTok and I started building a following on TikTok and then all of those followers kind of went over onto my Instagram as well. Um, and then I've always wanted to become a YouTuber. I've always watched vlogs and makeup tutorials and just everything. Getting started on foundation, by the way. Um, so I've definitely always just like been interested in social media. Um, so yeah, I started taking it more seriously when, by the way, this is about to look very orange, but I swear it's, it's gonna, it's gonna look better towards the end. Trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. Last year, my modeling agency started a division called creators. It was basically for people that had a following social media and or like had an interest in it um so yeah I got added to that division and I now have an agent or a manager whatever you want to call it that helps me get paid opportunities so the long answer is that the short answer is I started getting into modeling 
Um, that's basically how I got to where I am with social media. Um, I'm also just like more into social media. I'm very active on social media. Um, I know plenty of like not every model is on social media like that um, and like has a following. So for me, I was just like more interested in it than others. So. I don't know. If you want advice, I can definitely make a video about that on like how to get followers and how to get like active followers. On to the next question. Someone asked what my favorite places to shop are. I feel like this is a good question because it has changed recently. I'm getting out of like a certain phase and, and entering a new one. Number one place would be definitely be Aritzia. I love Aritzia. Um, I, I for sure can't afford all of Aritzia, um, but like most of my things in my closet, like most of like the staples and like the basics would be from Aritzia. They have very good quality like body suits and tanks and tees and um, Pants, jeans, really anything from Maritzi is so good as far as quality goes. So I'm trying to think of somewhere else. I honestly can't. Uh, I love, I think it's called Glassons. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about, but I love Glassons as well. They have really good prices. They always have like sales going on too, so. Ooh, another place that I feel like is pretty similar to like Aritzia would be Kith. I really like Kith, but like not everything in my closet is Kith. It, like there's no way it could be Kith. Um, but yeah, number one favorite place if I had to choose one place to shop would be Aritzia. Another person asked when I started modeling. When did I start modeling? Um, I started modeling three years ago. I mentioned that earlier when I was talking about influencing. When I was in high school, I actually used to be a dancer and that's what I wanted to do when I grew up. Like that's what I wanted my career to be. I wanted to be like a ballerina. Um, and then eventually I just got very, very much so tired of it. Very much so burnt out. Um, and so I kind of got over that and I remember I was watching the Victoria's Secret fashion show with one of my best friends. She's still one of my really good friends today. Um, but she was like my best friend in high school. And uh, I remember she was spending the night over at my place and we watched the Victoria's Secret fashion show and I remember us just being like, oh my God, we have to do that. Like that 1000% has to be us. Um, and that's when it began for me personally. I remember I talked to my parents about it for quite a while and they were very iffy. It took them a few months for them to finally say yes. And when they did, I submitted online to two agencies that were in Dallas. I was not living in Dallas, so, but I was living in Texas. Um, but yeah, I just submitted to a couple of agencies in Dallas and they both wanted to meet with me. And um, the first agency that I met with, actually in person, they acted like they wanted me um, and I was feeling very confident about it. And then they kind of hit me with the, nope, the next morning. Um, they rejected me and told me that I needed to work on my skin. I was a little on the shorter side. I was 5'7". Um, and this was when I was 16, so I was pretty young. Um, and I had time to like grow um, height-wise and just like in many other different ways. Um, yes, yeah, so it was like my skin, my teeth weren't that great. Um, and my height, and I think that was like the three like main things that I needed to fix. And they said that I could submit 
you know, like a year from now or whatever, like whenever I get those things fixed. Um, and then that day when I got that email, I was meeting up with another agency, which is the agency that I am with now. Um, and I was so bummed out about the first one not wanting me. It's never a great feeling being rejected, but you know, when you're getting into that type of world, you have to expect that, you have to get ready for that, you have to prepare for that. Um, but yeah, I met with the second agency, which is the agency I'm with now, and they wanted to sign me that evening when I was back in the car and my parents and I were on our way home. We got a phone call and they wanted to sign me. I can't believe that was like three years ago. I'm doing a little um, eyeshadow eyeliner. I don't know if that's what people call it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not good at eyeliner, but I feel like I'm good at this eyeshadow eyeliner because it's easy to fix if you mess up. And I also don't really like doing like black liner, like pitch black liner, like the liquid liner. I like the look of the eyeshadow liner a lot better. Um, and like I said, I'm not good at it anyway, so it's very easy for me to just fix it whenever I mess up. Okay. Um, on to the next question. Do you have a workout routine? Someone asked me. The answer is yes, absolutely. Yes, 1000%. Yes, I definitely try to take at least one day off just to rest, just to, you know, not do too much. Right now, I'm just using some Dior, what's this called? Dior, Dior Show Iconic Mascara. I've been using Dior Mascara for actually a very, very long time. Um, I personally like it. Even though I think I'm gonna change mascaras for um, a minute pretty soon whenever I run out of this, which I feel like is gonna happen soon because it's kind of getting a little dry. Um, because I saw on TikTok this morning or last night, someone said that the Rare Beauty mascara is like the best mascara they've ever used. Um, and the girl's lashes were gorgeous. Just did some mascara, and now I'm gonna do a little bit of blush using Patrick Ta's blush. I love Patrick Ta's line. It came out recently, actually months ago, now that I think about it. What was it, like March or something that it came out? I love his brow wax. That's what I use for my brows. He also has a little lip thing. It's like, it's either lip gloss, right? Yeah, it's lip gloss. Silky lip cream. Okay. I love this blush so much, you guys. Y'all have got to try it. It just, it's so like, I was not picking my nose, by the way. I was not picking my nose just now. I'm gonna get started on my lips, and I think that is going to be it for the makeup. It actually didn't take that long. I thought this was going to take way longer than it did. Um, I'm gonna answer one or two more questions. Um, oh, someone asked, where do you meet your boyfriend? I don't like answering this question because it is embarrassing. Someone asked where I met you. It all started one Thursday two years ago. Thursday? I don't know. We well, met on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. You may not like it, but it's the truth. She slid into my DMs on Instagram. I think I've told this story before. Um, I was posted on Instagram by our modeling agency that we both model for. 
She's seen your boy. I put the looks on her, razzle dazzle, you know. She was she was starstruck, you know. And from that moment, she ain't never took her eyes off me. Ain't that right? Right. Yeah. So you never know where you're gonna meet somebody. Put your best face on, and then Sloan's show up. Um. Well, let me tell more of the story. So with our modeling agency, we have a model search every year. And um, by the way, I just did some lip liner um, from Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. You know what's up. Um, so we have a, ooh, I don't know if I like this lip. I don't think I like this. I don't like this. Wait, maybe I do. This is different. I usually don't use this, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. I usually just use my lip liner with Fenty Gloss. Um, but I was like, I bought this and I haven't used it yet. Like, why not use it tonight? Uh, and I don't think I like it. It looks completely different than it does the packaging like on my lips yeah. okay we, we can try it we can try it we can see if we like this in the end with the outfit it's actually pretty I don't know um anyways our modeling agency has this thing called a model search every year and I was in the model search the year before, he was in the model search the year after, and they post photos of you on their Instagram um, throughout the model search process until, you know, somebody wins, whatever. And um, I remember my year, the year before him, when they posted the photos of me, all the other models that were like already signed to our agency messaged me being like congratulations um i hope you win da, 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 da. i can't wait to you know work with you one day see you whatever so the next year his year of the model search when they posted the pictures i thought like okay this is what happened last year let me be nice let me connect with everyone and there are there were seven or eight people in this model search I messaged literally all seven or eight people, copy and pasted the same message to everyone, and um, including him, and the conversation just kept going from there. And also the message was just like, congratulations, like that was it. Um, so yes, I slid in the DMs, but like not really. Not with like those intentions. I don't like telling that story because it's pretty complicated because you have to have like a backstory to it. And also I feel like everyone judges whenever you say like you messaged your boyfriend and girlfriend on Instagram or like Twitter or whatever. Um, I feel like people just like judge. I think I like the lip, it's like rubbing off on me. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it from here or like what it looks like on camera, but I like the way that it looks in person. I'm trying to face the window. By the way, I don't have highlighter. I haven't used highlighter in literally years because my skin is pretty oily and like literally give it like 30 minutes for my makeup to like marinate. Y'all know what I mean when I say like letting your makeup marinate. If you know, you know. Um, but yeah, once my makeup like really sets in, the oils start to come up and it just so happens that I get oily like all in the right places like on the tip of my nose, on my cheekbones. I get oily like right here in the middle of my forehead which I personally don't really like most of the time. Um, so I powder over that. And on my chin, I don't really like getting oily on my chin and like glowy on my chin. Um, so I like it on the tip of my nose and my cheekbones. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna do a little work on my baby hairs and then get into my outfit. I'm 
I'm gonna use the Tresemme hairspray to kind of go over just a little bit. So this is the hair and makeup. I told y'all in the beginning my foundation looked so orange, but I needed you guys to trust the process and I feel like it turned out pretty great. Um, I'm gonna go put my outfit on and that'll be it for the video. Yeah, let's go put the outfit on. Okay guys, this is the final look. We've got shoes from Zara, this little romper from RUMI, Alexander Wang bag, this bright, bright, bright pink blazer is from Nasty Gal, and then this little tennis necklace is from Etsy. I will link the shop that I got it from down below. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this outfit. I've tried this outfit on a million times. Um, if you saw in my packing vlog for our trip to LA, I packed this outfit to go out to eat in while we were out there. Um, but I didn't end up wearing it because we didn't end up going out to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me slash Q&A slash get to know me video. Um, if you have any ideas for any other videos that you guys want to see from me, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.